are going to try, I picked this up at uh, Abbey's International Wines and Spirits in Jefferson City. And it is Augusta Farmhouse Ale, Belgian style triple, batch number five from the Augusta Brewing Company. Actually right here in Lavity, Missouri. I hadn't even noticed that when I picked the bottle up. But that's down the road. So I have never had a Belgian style beer before. So this will be something entirely new. I always wanted to try it because I didn't know whether I'd actually like it or not. I know they're, they can be a little bit odd. So we are going to try this. See if I can get this out without blowing up. I don't know. All the videos I've heard, they pop just like champagne corks. Woo! Too cool. All right. Mmm. Kind of fruity. And it looks to me like it is, as it should be, bottled conditioned. Looks like there's yeast in the bottom, so we're just going to pour a little bit of this to begin with. And typical Belgian beer, huge, huge head, and that's very typical of the style. And we'll set that one there, let it die down a little bit. I'll be a little more careful pouring this one, maybe. I've got a guest, doesn't want to be on camera, that's all right. She's a little camera shy. And there's so much of this and stuff, it's like I can't hardly, couldn't hardly get the yeast. Yeah, stir it up a little bit. Woo, nothing but foam. I was hoping to get the yeast out of the bottom of that, but there we go. And there you see, clouded up like it's supposed to be. And it really gets a huge head on it. <laughs> Wish my beer had a head on like that. All right. It smells good. It smells really good. You like smell of it? You talk. Go ahead. <laughs> she likes the smell of it too. Hmm. You like that? She likes it. Hey, Mikey. I've never had Belgian beer, but I actually like it. You like it pretty good? She likes it. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> this is actually rather tasty. Let me see if I can figure out what I'm picking up in here. And this is, let's see, uh, 750 milliliter bottle, which is a size of a bottle of wine and seven dollars ninety nine cents so between two people for some kind of a nice good beer that's really not that bad let's wash that off fill the rest of it because mine's full let me show you but you want to get the you want to get the yeast in the bottom of that for the character And if I wanted to try to replicate this, I would probably be very careful pouring this out and try to pour the yeast off the bottom of that bottle and keep it. But we're not interested in that. So. <laughs> oh, somebody might like Belgian beers. I might have to learn how to brew this stuff. It is, as you can tell, uh, a dark straw color. And it is cloudy because I did pour the yeast in there. And a uh, nice white frothy head on there. Yeah. Probably two, two and a half fingers. Go ahead, take the beer. <laughs> what? Now you give me your opinion. What do you smell in that? It smells, I'm, I'm picking up like almost like a pear or an apple. Do you smell pear or apple or anything like that? She's kind of picking up an apple smell. The taste. You think it's kind of appley tasting too? Hmm. 
It has got kind of an apple taste to it. So this is actually, like I said, I wasn't sure whether I would like Belgian beer or not, but uh, I think this would be really good in the summertime because it's light and it's, it's effervescent. But uh, so I do, I do like the taste of this. So like I said, I know brewing Belgian beer is a little bit of a more of a challenge because of the types of yeast that are involved. They the fermentation temperatures, I'm sure I could probably hit 90 degrees easy. They use palm sugar from India. It has palm sugar in it from India. Anything else weird in there? I'm not picking up sweaty horse blanket or anything like that. And I do know this is not the correct glass for this type of beer, but it's either that or a wine glass and that would look kind of silly. Hmm? It does have really good carbonation. Like I said, it's cloudy, but I can see the, the carbonation coming up from the bottom. I'd say, I'd say it's a winner. What do you think? It's good. You like it? So she likes it, and I like it. And it's like I said, the size of the bottle, it's in the price. It's not terrible bad, but uh, I think it'd be a treat beer. It would be something I'd probably drink all the time. But anyway, so cheers. And I think we're going to finish drinking this. So see y'all later. Bye.